Hello YouTube, this is Hovenal Narcisse and welcome to my YouTube channel. And for today's video, I am going to unbox an item which I bought from a local store here in the Philippines which is located at the Power Plant Mall in Makati City, Metro Manila. And this store is called the Signet Store. I have been a regular customer of this said store for the past two to three years. And this is where I was able to buy my first Made in Japan salvage denim, which I'm still using up to now. And the brand is called The Flathead. But for today's video, I'm going to, to introduce this unboxing video with a story about my experience with this said store. Before I went to the United States in March, I think on the last week of February, I was able to visit the said store and I had a fitting of that day. I was able to fit a very nice Western shirt, which I really like. However, I was not decided to buy the said item during that day and I asked one of the staff, my favorite friend from uh, the cigarette store, Paolo, I asked him if he can reserve the shirt, shirt and I will buy it for a later day. What is good about the cigarette store is if you are already a regular customer, if you like something, you can have it reserved and be sure to return and be able to buy the said item. So this this particular item, I really like it and I've been looking at it at the uh, online store and I, I have it fitted and I like the, the fitting, I like the color and, uh, and of course the price is it's really affordable and as compared to buying it abroad or uh, having it ordered online because it will involve a lot of import duties, but payments and shipping costs. So, <clears throat> I, I forgot about it. I went to the States and spent two and a half months there at, and uh, when I returned, I immediately went to the cigarette store and this shirt, Western shirt, was it still there, uh, reserved for me. And I really like the customer service of the said store because it took them almost three months to reserve this said Western shirt for me. And here now I'm going to unbox a, a the said item. I was able to bring it home and bought it. So let us open this bag from the Signet store. I'm here in my backyard. That's why you can hear a lot of birds. You can hear a lot of insects. So bear with me as I make this video with all those background noises. I have here the Mr. Freedom Dude Rancher Western State in medium. I usually have a size of small in all my Western shirts, but for this particular model and brand, I was surprised that I have here a medium size which I really fitted in the store and I really like it. This is a Western, the old Western shirt. This was very popular in the 1950s. By the way, Mr. Freedom is a company which is based in Los Angeles, California. Two years ago, I was able to visit the said store, which is located at corner La Brea 
in Beverly Boulevard and I was able to talk to the staff there at there are four of them and I really cannot re uh, recall the names but they are very kind very nice and very approachable to the point that I was able to take a 10 second video uh, of the said store and I that was a very very big store of vintage shoes attire outfit you name it they have it okay so this is a very very popular store of vintage vintage outfits in Los Angeles California and as I said, this is a Western shirt. It's called Dude Rancher Western Star shirt in corduroy red color. Actually, there are 10 different colors and models of this kind of Western shirt being carried by Mr. Freedom. They have uh, different colors of corduroy, different colors of denim and uh, and other fabrics. I think they have also some chambray, indigo denim, salvage denim in this kind of style. What I like about this Western shirt is you have the letter M stitching. Letter M. It says Mr. Freedom, okay. of course, this is a snap button. And inside you have an extra button, just in case you lost one of the button here at the neckline, because the one of the neckline is a regular button, white button. Another thing that is very distinct in this western shirt is behind or the elbow portion, you have a diamond shape reinforcement which is located on the elbow portion. Very nice elbow at the back and you have also snap buttons on the hem and there are white buttons or cream buttons and at the back you have three points of the yoke one two and three One of the distinct features also of a Western shirt is the yoke. This portion, this is the yoke below the shoulder and they are located on the right and the left shoulder. Let me button this shirt first as I want to get the measurements while I'm standing here in front of the camera I don't want to use a table so I have with me a tape measure and we'll try to measure the important dimensions or the measurements of the shirt actually I only consider three important measurements in fitting and selecting the proper size for my western shirt. First is the shoulder, the shoulder length. Second is the pit to pit from right below the armpit and to the left below the armpit and the opening from the end of the side stitch up to the end of the other side side stitch so those are the three particular sizing dimensions or sizing measurements which i i always take into account 
whenever I select the proper size for my body. So, I have here a tape measure. We will measure the shoulder length. And I will show it to you instead of having it on the table, you have 17 inches of shoulder, which is my best shoulder measurement. Most of my iron heart and Nama and other Western shirts or work shirts, my shoulder length is always 17 inches up to 17 and a half. I can carry 16.5 or 16 and a half inches but still, it still fit to my shoulders. And the shoulders is, the shoulders are not sagging below my shoulder. And then on the pit to pit, it says here 20 and a half. So, There. It is 20 and a half, which is okay. Actually, my range on my armpit measurement is from 20 to 21 and a half and still fine with me. My Western shirts from Iron Heart are measured 20 to 21 inches. And then on the opening, the body opening, I inverted this for so that you, you will appreciate how I measure the hem or the opening of this shirt. We'll have it like this and The opening is 20 inches, which is fine, which is okay with me. Sometimes my opening could drains up to 19 to 20 inches, and this is medium. But in other brands, this kind of measurement is considered that's small. So in choosing the proper size of your Western shirt, you always consider three. The sleeve length is automatic already. I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind also the waist, waist measurement because what is important is the opening of the hem of this shirt. We'll now proceed with the fitting of this western shirt. I'll just wear it on top of my shirt, long short sleeve shirt, so that you will see how this corduroy red from western shirt from Mr. Freedom could fit in me. You can use this Western shirt as a over shirt or a shirt which you can tuck in. So this is how it looks like when I'm wearing it untucked. When I'm wearing it untucked from my body as I go further from the camera so you can see how this red corduroy shirt from Mr. Freedom would fit and if I'm going to button all the way down there is still an ample or space that I can 
have on the armpit, the body, and the opening. Finally, I was able to score my first Mr. Freedom Western shirt, and there are still nine more models of this kind from Mr. Freedom. By the way, this shirt was made in Japan. However, Mr. Freedom store is located in Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. But most of their items, whether they are salvage denim jeans or shirts or shorts or vintage memorabilia, these are being made in Japan in collaboration with a company which is called the Sugar Cane Company. So this particular shirt was made in Japan in collaboration or made by Sugar Cane Company of Japan. This Western shirt is, has a price of 19,600. If you buy this in the United States in the Mr. Freedom store or buy it online and send it to the Philippines, it is priced as $350, but you have to pay a sales tax, which is 9.5%, which is almost equivalent to $32. So if you add $350 plus $32, that amounts to $385, okay? So $385 plus another $10, of shipping to my forwarder so that is $395 almost 400 almost $400 and send it to the Philippines and if you compute that in the present conversion rate it will cost you actually almost $25 at uh, 25,000 pesos it will cost you almost 24 to 25,000 pesos. So it's a good deal that I was able to be, buy this particular item at the Signet store, which is located at the Power Plant Mall in Makati City, Metro Manila, for a cheaper price without any tax, without any problem of being lost along the way, and without any VAT payments and custom duties. So, with that, thanks for watching this video. I hope you like this video and if you like my contents please subscribe to this youtube channel and press click that notification bell so that you will be informed of my latest videos and if you have any comments positive or negative please write down below so that i can answer them so with that thank you very much for watching this video and have a good day bye